The Galileo Greenhouse Project is a partnership between Galileo School of Math and Science in District 11, Pikes Peak Urban Gardens, part of the Pikes Peak Community Foundation, and Pikes Peak Permaculture. Robin Colbert, principal of Galileo School of Math and Science, will tell us in her own words what this project means to her school. We are very privileged and excited to be able to have used some of our grant monies from the Magic Schools of America to be able to purchase this geodome for this project to be in partnership, as Rick had said earlier, with Food and Nutrition D11, Pikes Peak Urban Garden, the Pikes Peak Permaculture, and the Pikes Peak um, Community Foundation. And again, I, we, this morning we have great friends here and I have some of my administrators also here with us. Um, we've been coming in on a daily basis and one of our long range extension goals is also to extend it into the classroom for our students to be able to come out and plant and grow and do some things with the um, aquaponics that's behind you. But um, we're going to go ahead and extend it to where you can show kids here's where it starts and how it's grown and what is involved with this process before it reaches their tables and they're putting it into their mouths at lunchtime. So this is going to be a great endeavor, a great partnership, and we're looking forward to it. Rick Hughes, the Director of Food Nutrition Services, was the driving force behind this project. And let's see just what this means to him. Good morning, my name is Rick Hughes. I'm Director of Food and Nutrition Services here in School District 11, and today we are harvesting lettuce. Um, today is October 10th, Monday, and we are harvesting about 300 heads of lettuce that we have grown working in partnership with Pikes Peak Urban Gardens and the uh, Pikes Peak Community Foundation to put this awesome greenhouse here, working with the District 11 Grants Office um, administration here at Galileo to have a great partnership that's very collaborative to actually grow food that we're going to use in School District 11 as a part of the D11 Good Food Project where we want to have great food available for kids that taste good, um, that is grown without um, the use of uh, pesticides, harmful pesticides and chemicals. We have fantastic food available and we're actually going to harvest that with a group of awesome volunteers that we're very thankful for today. The Good Food Project sets the bar high for the food that enters the student lunch program. The characteristics of good food are the following. As you can see, no growth hormones, fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, no artificial dyes or preservatives, free of hydrogenated oils, no added sugars, food that is good for you, good from the earth, that aren't highly processed, that are whole and natural. This is changing the way the students in this district are eating. The Galileo Greenhouse Project is located at 1600 North Union Boulevard in Colorado Springs. Now let's see how this project came together. The site was a repurposed tennis court. Growing spaces from Bogosa Springs was selected to build this 42-foot biodome. And in one week, the greenhouse was built. The plumbing was installed by Global Underground Core, on time and on budget. The glazing for the greenhouse is unbreakable five-wall polycarbonate panels, but one of the best features is that it's 100% solar powered, zero cost for electricity and zero cost for heating. Pikes Peak Urban Gardens along with volunteers built the interior beds. The soil mix was provided by Don's Garden Shop. Here you can see Don standing next to Steve Hitchcock. Don is the owner of Don's Garden Shop. It's located in Colorado Springs on Platte Avenue just east of Powers Boulevard. The lettuce seedlings are grown off-site and brought in and when they're about an inch to two inches tall. Here you can see Stephanie Jensen and Leslie Flanagan, our growers, planting them. And we plant them on about a two-week cycle, and in four weeks they are ready to harvest. 
On October 22nd, we had an open house, and here you can see Superintendent Dr. Gledich doing the official harvesting of a large head of lettuce. There is myself, Larry Stebbins, holding the lettuce and Robin Colbert in the front. There were gardening activities for children, and Brian Axworthy, the executive chef of District 11, made sure that there was plenty of wholesome food for everyone that attended. Jessica Sharp, director of grants, was instrumental in making sure the funds were secure for this project. Without her help, I'm not so sure this project would have gotten off the ground. There's a couple different varieties. Um, I find that she is the best for this. Here is Stephanie Jensen answering gardening questions for the many visitors that attended this event. Also, you see Becky Elder here from Pikes Peak Permaculture. They are involved in drafting some long-range plans for the entire tennis court area. We've been harvesting about 300 heads of lettuce each week. That comes out to about 15,000 heads of lettuce each year. The entire harvest goes to feed the students in District 11. Now let's see the first harvest. So anyways, everybody, uh, I'm Larry Stevens here at Pikes Peak uh, Urban Gardens, and uh, we're going to be seeing a little bit how we are going to be harvesting. We're going to be wearing gloves because, uh, as Rick Hughes said, you know, we want to make sure that this is remains as uh, pristine and clean and everything as we possibly can, even though it will be cleaned entirely and thoroughly inside. The, and there we have a lettuce, and you can see it's pretty clean at this point. From there, we are going to then box it up, and then we'll weigh it. And then it's going to go into the kitchen, and by lunchtime, the students will be enjoying a fresh salad. I'll take a look at that. I mean, it's just incredible. It's full of vitamins and minerals. Couldn't be any healthier. Right. Okay. After the lettuce is weighed, it is bagged and taken right into the student lunch program. Here you can see they carefully wash it to make sure that it is ready for the students. The lunches are made from scratch, as you can see, with some very wholesome ingredients. And the students have been very receptive with this fresh produce. This is fabulous. This is so much fun. I love the lettuce and the basil and the oregano and sage. I mean, it is just so cool. You guys did a great job. Look at that. Things really do grow, don't they?